Hey everybody, I'm clocking back in for another video. I'm so excited for today because I am going to do a deep dive into this epic package that Loungefly sent me. I am such a Loungefly guy and I'm so lucky to work with them. They're just an amazing partner. I've done official photo shoots with them for new collections. I have done numerous giftings. They know me from my Winnie the Pooh obsession, also my Disney obsession, but I think this package might have a little bit of a mix of everything. So let's get into it. What I do know about this package is that it's spooky season focused, so I'm very excited. And I'm just gonna grab things out of it and we're gonna see what we got. Okay, first thing out is a hoodie. Loungefly hoodies are my fave. And this is the new Haunted Mansion hoodie. This is so sick. We have sleeve details on both sides. Look at that Madame Leota. I love for people to know that I'm wearing Loungefly, so I think it's great that they have the little plaque there. Just like on their bags, it's like the most recognizable thing besides the amazing design. <laughs> and then here's some of those details closer up. We do have Constance Hatchaway there in the window with the little Haunted Mansion plaque. Another thing I love about Loungefly hoodies is that their drawstrings are branded, so you can wrap that right there, which is so great. And just like their backpacks have linings, so do their hoodies, so I love seeing that. Also, all of the light details, like windows and such, glow in the dark and the moon. I'm filming with my Canon M200 for the first time today for video format, so forgive me if I like look up at all and don't make eye contact with you. I'm like getting used to having my screen right there, but also trying to look into the lens. We're on a YouTube journey. Next, I might be pulling things from this box out of order, so like forgive me if any of this is unrelated to the last thing. Ah, oh, okay, this is the new sequin Jack Skellington cosplay mini backpack. <gasps> Oh my goodness, get into that. This honestly translates really well as sequin. I don't think I have any sequin lounge fly backpacks. We of course do have a back hit that says King Jack there. I love the applique for his bow tie, so great. And then this of course is something of a hidden pocket, I guess, and it would perfectly fit a half size wallet. That's typically where I put my wallet just for easy access. Also, I do love a strap detail and we have the stripes here to match the pinstripe suit. Always gotta make sure we check out the lining as well. And this one is great. I love that. I always really appreciate the storytelling of Loungefly. So we have the same like design for that jack face that's on the back hit in the lining and it usually presents itself as like a pattern. So they just think of everything. Let's actually just keep it Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm so excited about this one. Like I mentioned earlier, I do partner with Loungefly pretty regularly. So I have seen this bag in person before and I'm really glad they sent it to me. Ready? This is the Mayor Crossbody, the infamous mayor from Nightmare Before Christmas. And this bag has a special detail that I'll show you in a second because I think I gotta take the stuffing out first. The hat there, shape of this bag is so great for a crossbody because it can sit so nicely at your side. It does open like this and it has a really solid structure. So if it weren't full and you were using it, you wouldn't be able to tell that it wasn't full. You know what I mean? All right, so let me show you the special feature of this bag. We do have a standard strap here for crossbody use, but this would just look amazing on a shelf as well if you're someone who displays your launch fly. But as we know, the mayor does not just have one face. He has two. This is so cool. I need to see it myself. Oh, I love that. So there's a little knob at the bottom that you can use to turn it. So good. There's so much more. Okay, it's definitely themed. We have like Haunted Mansion and Nightmare Before Christmas so far. And that's also kind of perfect because as a Disneylander, we do have the Nightmare Before Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> As a Disneylander, we do have the Nightmare Before Christmas overlay for the holiday, but it lasts from Halloween through Christmas. It's a both movie. Okay, another crossbody. The strap is inside the bag, but we do have the loops on both sides. This is also a glow-in-the-dark bag, and it comes with a little coin purse, which I think is so great because we have another reference to the ride. Gargoyles are awesome. It does come with this little paper to keep the applique nice and sturdy. This is everything, and then we do have a little back hit there. They never miss. And I think there's also a mini backpack in this series. We have the Hitchhiking Ghost, the Singing Busts, Madame Leota. This pattern is great. Oh, and I'm so glad I opened it because the strap is special. Look at that. The strap even has appliques on it. This is so cool. Is that maybe a better view? Looks pretty good. I love it. Oh. I did not know about this. This is not like entirely a surprise. I talked with the Loungefly social media team about some spooky season stuff and like obviously I'm going to the parks all the time and I love to do Disney style and like put outfits together. So I told them like some of the things that I liked but this thing that I just saw in the box is not something I thought they would send me let alone that I even knew existed. <laughs> so we're hitting Winnie the Pooh 
We've got this amazing Tigger skeleton costume wallet. This also glows in the dark. This is so great. I use a Loungefly wallet every single day, so having something like this that I can use during the spooky season is so great. We've got the orange and black stripe variation for the inside, and then our ID cutout is a pumpkin, and you can see the lining through that, and then check out that back hit with the plaque. Thank you, Loungefly, this was such a cute surprise. What's next? Another thing I didn't know was gonna be in here. It's the Haunted Mansion pin. This is limited edition, 2,000 pieces. I love Loungefly pin boxes because they're honestly so beautiful that you could just display them in their box. And they always have a really nice viewing window. So we have like the environment peeking into the hitchhiking ghosts. Loungefly does jumbo pins really well. So you can take this off, right? And get a nice view there of the pin. They think of everything. And I love, love, love when they have this like multi-dimensionality to it where there's like a foreground and a background. Just so great. This is an amazing pin. I didn't think this would be in here. <gasps> this is the Nightmare Before Christmas figural mayor in his car. <gasps> with a lenticular display in the front there that of course shows both of his faces. Wow. You can see his white face on this side. When you turn the car, you see his other face. This is so cool. Look at the front here. <gasps> Little pumpkin headlights. This is unreal. Also, the wheels spin, can you believe? A work of art. Let's check out how this opens though. It's because I have actually no idea. First of all, Look at that lining. This bag looks like a popcorn bucket, and I live. There's a light up feature. It must be the headlights. Ready? Oh, uh, there's a wasp on my patio. Go away. That is so great. I had no idea. You can see the lining in there. Like I said, it is a crossbody, so you can use this strap, and it goes across diagonally. There is also a little clasp so that you have the clasp and the zippers on the top there. Wow. And then I did get a little peek inside the box for the next two items. <gasps> Wait, three items. Before we move on from Disney, this is another Winnie the Pooh related item. Ah! Oh my gosh. It's the mummy Eeyore bag. His tail moves. This is so cute with the ear and face applique. You can use it as a handbag or you can use the strap that comes inside and there's a loop on both sides to make it a crossbody. My favorite thing about Loungefly crossbodies is that they're usually convertible. Can you see that lining? So cool. I love the contrast of the bright orange because he's blue and then it matches the orange of the bow on his tail. Here's the back side. Wow, how are we doing? Right? So when I said we were switching gears from Disney, it's because, 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 because. I love Universal too. And one of the fandoms that I'm like obsessed with but don't really talk a whole lot about, just because I don't have space to display my collection, is Universal Monsters. I don't even know which one I wanna show first. These are both amazing bags. One is a television design with a lenticular display and one is a Universal Monsters book bag. Let's do that one first. Oh my gosh. First of all, I've only ever seen this book bag design with Disney princesses, so I'm really glad to see it extended into something like this, because this is my first one. <gasps> the woman was too stunned to speak. From top to bottom, we have the mummy, the wolfman, Dracula, Frankenstein, and creature from the Black Lagoon. My favorites are the Wolfman and Dracula. I also love the Invisible Man, but this might just be like the main players. You have a handle right here to use it as a handbag. You have the continuation of the book texture back there for that complete story tell. And then on either side, you have the mummy, and so you have the full cover there. And then on this side, you have creature from the Black Lagoon. Both of those can actually open up with the clasp and reveals the zipper. Same thing here little button clasps, and then the zipper goes along the entire thing, and it has that accordion design. I love when they do bags like this because there's always a bunch of room in there. Also, there's the lining. And this design allows you to keep like smaller items in here, like chapstick or a phone charger, makeup, and it won't fall out. So like if this wasn't here, it would just be open and you'd have to like have your bag like this to check out what's inside. So this allows you to kind of organize it all vertically and then nothing will fall out. We also do have a strap to make it a crossbody and this bag glows in the dark. This is pretty amazing and I'm a Horror Nights guy, so this will get used. Last but certainly not least, the Universal Monsters 
television crossbody bag with a lenticular display. Oh my gosh, I'm such an amateur. My phone sound is on loud. This is a triple lenticular. Ready? Wow. This is incredible. I have the Wolfman shirt from Universal and it's brown and it would perfectly match this. Ah! This bag, again, intelligently designed with this little catch right here so that things won't fall out. Oh, that's awesome. We basically have a pattern lining of the logos from these movies. I'm a sucker for a lenticular bag, so this is probably one of my faves from today. Talking about storytelling earlier, like, lenticular tells such a story because you can literally see multiple things in the same real estate. I also just think it's such a cute little touch that the Funko logo is like its own little button right there, as if it's like a button on the television. Epic. Make sure you leave a comment with which bag was your favorite from today's haul. Thank you so, so much to my friends at Loungefly for all of these goodies. I am so excited. I feel so ready for spooky season. We'll see you next time. Okay, much like you, I thought this video was over, but I just checked the mail and Loungefly sent me more stuff. So we might as well do the rest of it in this video. And this time I truly don't know what it is because... Ah! No, there was, there's an earwig. <laughs> I really don't know what it is because and it like fell. It fell from above. It landed. I can't wait to see the video of it falling. <laughs> oh sh! It's not good. Where is it? Ah! Uh, what if I don't find it? You might not. Did it come from inside the box? Lounge fly. All tricks, no treats. It's gotta be in here. Ah, there it is! No! Haha, <laughs> -ha, you're dead. In the arms of the angel. Okay, back to the regular programming. <laughs> anyway, what did they do? Okay, let's go for this one. <gasps> Remember earlier when I said that I thought there was a Haunted Mansion backpack? Ready? Ta-da! Oh my gosh. Look at that zipper charm. That is so cool. So we've got this really nice pattern on the back side. Obviously our like gargoyle applique on the front. So sick. And then this is a pocket, of course. This is amazing. Try to get you a better look at that lining. One sec. <gasps> this is a light up bag. I think it's going to be the gargoyle's eyes. Ready? It's so bright. Look at this. <laughs> That's really sick, Liz. Okay, and then maybe this is a better look at the lining. So good. Thank you, Loungefly. Matt and I are such big fans of Haunted Mansion, so now that we have both bags and we're both gonna have the hoodie, we can match. <gasps> okay, not Disney, but this is gonna be my first ever like classic horror Loungefly. It's Michael Myers. This is so cool. Yeah, this bag glows in the dark as well. We have the illustration of his hand holding the knife as the back hit. The knife is a coin purse. I honestly really like the look of it on the pumpkin. Wow, and the design, you almost like wouldn't even know that. That is so fun. This pumpkin is, of course, a little pocket. It's a little bit smaller, but perfect for like any tiny essentials. And then that lining is really cool. We have like a whole Halloween pattern. Make sure you leave a comment with which bag was your favorite from today's haul. Thank you so, so much to my friends at Loungefly for all of these goodies. I am so excited. I feel so ready for spooky season. We'll see you next time.